Hey, it's Tara with Reiki on the Run, and today I want to do a video about something that I think a lot of us do, whether we realize it or not, and that is caring what other people think. And um, I'm doing this video because I've caught myself doing it. I recently, I don't know why, but I've caught myself doing it more. I normally don't, I'm very aware of it. I used to constantly care what other people think and um, I really don't much anymore, but I found myself creeping back into doing that and so I thought it would be a good video to do. So um, we'll talk about ways we do it. It's not always in the ways that you might think, um, why it's not a good idea and how to stop doing it. I have several ways um, to stop caring what other people think. And so let's talk about a few ways that we do it. I think there's the obvious, um, replaying past situations, situations that we've been involved in and just replaying them in our minds, wondering what did the other person think when I said that? Um, and also pre-playing future possibility, possibilities, possible events, um, pre-playing those in our head, um, thinking about how we might say things or do things and what other people might think. Um, another way we do it is we act in certain ways that we wouldn't normally or we don't want to. We might wear things that we don't necessarily want to because we are concerned or we might not wear the things we want to because we're concerned with what other people think. Um, and doing that, you know, Facebook really comes to mind when I think about this, about saying things. You know, there's so many different people that are on your Facebook account if you're still on Facebook. And um, I know with me, it constantly caused me to stop, think about what I'm gonna say, how's this gonna affect this person, what are they gonna think, what are they gonna think, instead of just being true to myself. And so that's a, a big way we do it. And then the last way we do it, I have written here, is um, not doing the things you want to, you know? Sometimes we wanna do things, but we worry what other people will think. And that really holds us back from, again, being true to ourselves and doing the things that we know in our hearts that we want to do. So I'm going to talk about why it's bad, why it's not a good idea to care what other people think. Um, first one is nobody really knows you. You might have a relationship or two where people really truly do know you, but I've found in my life, and maybe not in yours, but I know in a lot of people, that people really don't know you. Work knows a certain side of you. Your family knows a certain side of you. Um, maybe some good friends know a better side of you, but I think it's rare that people really know the true you, and if that's not you, then this video probably won't do you any good, then you are doing amazing. Uh, but for a lot of us who suffer from that, from worrying about what other pe people think and caring, um, it's probably a good idea to understand that people don't even know you. So they're not going to be able to judge you correctly anyway because they don't know your heart. And um, what they think probably won't matter because they don't really know you. Um, the next reason why it's not a good idea to care what other people think is that it can ruin relationships. Um, when you are constantly focusing on the other person, what they think, what they might think, um, it can ruin your relationship instead of just letting it be. You're kind of trying to control all the aspects and all the dynamics of a relationship instead of just letting it be natural and um, it can cause you to ruin relationships because a lot of times you'll be trying to think what they're thinking and that will determine how you act and what you do and uh, you just don't know. So not a good idea because it can definitely um, ruin or hamper your relationships. Um, also, it'll make your brain not function as well. Um, when you have unanswered questions in your mind, when you're constantly worried what other people think, um, it keeps your brain somewhat in this, in this kind of up in the air, unsure, unanswered questions kind of state and you don't want your brain to be there 
because it's going to keep you from being focused on other things in your life with these constant un unanswered questions and wonderings. And um, anyway, it will affect uh, your brain function and other things when you're constantly worried about those other things that you can't control and don't know for sure. Anyway, um, the next one, it can cause anxiety and depression. Now, I've said this many times, it's well known that depression is from replaying things in your past over and over again. And anxiety is pre-playing things in the future that haven't happened yet and usually picking the worst thing and playing that over and over again. And when we constantly worry about what other people think, whether it's in the past or the future, this can cause depression and anxiety because we are worrying about it constantly. We're worrying about what they might think, what they did think. And it can really keep us down. It keeps our focus on, focus on um, usually negative things because we tend to jump to the negative conclusion of what people think of us. Some of us do, I did. Um, so yeah, causes anxiety and depression, which obviously are not going to be good. So another reason why it's not a good idea. Um, also the next one, it's none of your business what other people think of you. <laughs> it really isn't. Um, it's none of anyone else's business what you think of them. You are entitled to your opinion as they are entitled to their opinion. And like I said, people don't even usually know you. So it shouldn't be a concern, but it really is none of your business. They're going to think what they're going to think. You're going to think what you're going to think. And, you know, I think about it when I don't particularly care for someone. It doesn't mean I think that they're a shit heel and don't deserve anything good and deserve bad things. You know, it just, I just am not fond of them or I'm not fond of things they do. Or It's really not that big of a deal. I don't go around sitting, oh, they should you know, fall on a river. Or they, you know, I don't wish bad things upon people. Um, they just might not be my favorite. And it's the same, you know? It's really, it's none of your business. It doesn't matter what they think. Um, and, you know, something that ties along with this is you'll never know the truth. <laughs> anyway, if, um, you know, I used to be real um, aggressive, not aggressive, but, um, wanting to be up front and finding out and if I felt like there was some sort of weirdness going on with me and a friend or something I would I wouldn't want to worry about it I would want to know and so I would just say hey I feel like things are weird are we okay or is there something going on or but honestly people aren't going to tell you the truth I mean somebody asks me something and I don't want to hurt their feelings I'm not going to be super truthful about that probably now I'm not I don't I'm not one to lie so I would find a way around it but in general most people don't care about lying especially if they think they're saving your feelings and so you can't even really know that, that you know the truth you don't know what's in someone's heart and what they think and what they feel and so caring what they think you're not gonna know even if you find out even if you ask even if you get confrontational like I used to and trying to figure that out only because I didn't I didn't want um, aggravation. I didn't want, you know, if I ever felt like my friendships were in jeopardy, I, I wanted to make sure that they weren't and I wanted to make sure everything was okay and if I could apologize for anything, but it's just, it's just a slippery slope. It just, it just is not a good idea to go down that road and understanding that you'll never know the truth has been very helpful for me in letting go of the constant need to be approved by everyone and everything I do. So um, the next one, um, once you consider what other people think, you make your well-being conditional. So as soon as you open yourself up to even considering that idea, like what do they think about this? You are making your well-being conditional on what they think. You're saying, well, I don't think I could be okay unless they think this of me. So even just considering it, just considering what other people think. I mean, I don't think you should just go around guns and blazing. There are, you know, social norms and things like that that you might want to adhere to. Um, you can't just walk around naked at the grocery store kind of thing, you know? So there are some things that you need to pay attention to, but um, most things, it really, it really just opens yourself up to uh, your well-being being conditional. 
Like I am not going to be okay unless they think highly of me or uh, just that you're not going to be okay, that things aren't going to be all right. It's dependent, your well-being is dependent on someone else's view. And that's just not a good way to live. Um, you want to be able to maintain your happiness and your well-being and your feeling good within yourself, regardless of what people think. Because people are going to think things, no matter what. So that, that saying, haters going to hate, came from. That you're not going to please everybody ever. So um, relying on yourself for that happiness and not making it conditional on other people is going to be a big thing. Um, Next, your vibration. Your vibration depends on it. Um, anytime you start considering what other people think, it's gonna drag you down, mainly because we start thinking the negative. You know, if, if we have an issue with this, it's not usually because we're like, oh, they're gonna think I'm so fucking amazing. That's not usually what happens. Usually you're worried about the negatives. And so when you're focusing on those possibilities, even though they're just possibilities, you're focusing on negative things and what you focus on grows. And if you continue to focus on these negative things, we all know we get back what we put out. And if we're emitting this negative energy because we're focusing on it, we're gonna get situations like that. And so you always want to protect your vibration in that sense. Um, so uh, not focusing on those things, not worrying about those things going to help you a lot keeping your vibration up and getting that great things in life. Um, the next one, it affects your product productivity. Um, if you are worried about what other people are going to think, it shifts your focus from what you're doing throughout your day, throughout your life and the things that you need to get done. Um, if you are worried about others, it will slow you down it will keep you distracted. Um, and that's just not a good way to be. You want to be as productive, as possible. I, I don't always want to be productive, but when I am doing work or doing things, I want to be focused and I want to be productive during that time. I don't feel like I always need to be productive, but I want to be productive when I need to be productive. And having these things swirling around in your head, like I mentioned earlier, the brain function of, of having all these unanswered questions is going to slow you down and you don't want that. And then the last reason of why it's not a good idea to care what other people think is that they aren't even thinking about you. <laughs> they are not thinking. I know that it's so easy to get caught up and um, I can, man, <laughs> I can sit and think for a long time about what other people think of me and they are not giving two shits about me. They are worried about themselves and what other people think of them. So they're definitely not sitting there thinking, oh, that Tara, the, that, oh, I can't believe it. You know, maybe they do, maybe they do for a fleeting moment, but it ain't as much as you want to think. So keep that in mind that they're sitting around wondering what other people think about them or enjoying their lives. One of the two, maybe they've watched this video and they've moved on from that and everything is fabulous, but no need to worry about what others are thinking of you because they're not. All right. So let's talk about ways to stop. These are all ways that I have, shifted my thinking and my way of being that have helped me to stop. And these are things that I've had to, to re, redo. I don't know what happened the last couple of months. I've caught myself a couple of times, I mean, really involved in, in you know, full on conversations with myself of worrying what other people think. And it was just really interesting to, to be mindful of that. And then uh, these are some of the things that I've done that have worked to shift me out of that and the first one is just to shift your focus you know i did a, a video years ago about uh, what i called the distraction method and really it's just shifting your focus and when you catch yourself um thinking about those things worrying about other people then you just shift your focus to something else just think about something else sometimes it can be as simple if you're not if you're not used to doing it and, and if you haven't gotten good at shifting your focus, sometimes I used to just have to look at what's in front of me and I would be like, oh, there's a green tree, there's a yellow car, there's, here's my shoes. I mean, you just have to shift your focus. Um, at some point you'll get better at doing that and you can focus on better things, higher vibrational things, but if you can't do that in the beginning, just shift to things that are in front of you. Um, and you know, another thing that goes right along with that is try to live mindfully and make it a habit. 
If you are constantly focused on what is in front of you, and I always say, if you can't touch it, don't think about it. If you are focused on what's in front of you, you cannot be worried about things that happened in the past, things that might happen in the future, what others care about. You are just focused on what is in front of you. It's called being mindful, being present, being in the now, whatever you want to call it. If you will practice that, if you, if you will practice that, your life will change immensely in so many ways. But also it'll help uh, if you are having trouble with worrying what other people think. Just focus on the now. What's in front of you? What you got going on right in front of you? Physically, if you can't touch it, don't think about it. That'll help. Another way to stop is to flood yourself with truths to combat the doubt. Now, I have listened to affirmations. Um, I've had mantras that I tell myself um, just to combat that doubt that you have, that worry. You know, it can be uh, if you're concerned that you, someone doesn't find you attractive. You just tell yourself, I am attractive, I'm beautiful, I'm fabulous, I'm, you know, and it sounds cheesy to some if you've never done it and you don't realize it works, but it really works. And so it doesn't have to be, I'm beautiful. You know, it's just truths. Just tell yourself some truths. Truths, if you don't believe the things like that, then find something you believe that's truth and bombard yourself with it. Um, I tended to use uh, affirmations from others. I've made a few, I have a playlist with some affirmations for different things. I'm going to make some more. Um, but those help, you know, just bombarding your subconscious and that's going to help take you out of the issue that you're dealing with at the moment. And then it's also going to reprogram your subconscious. And I've talked about that a million times on how got to reprogram our subconscious mind. Anyway, um, really helpful to bombard yourself with truths, whether that be uh, little mantras you tell yourself or listening to affirmations and things like that. Just tell yourself some truths and get that shit out of your head. Um, next one, how to stop caring what other peop people think. Um, be authentic and do your best. If you are being truthful, if you are being yourself, who you really are and you are giving your best, putting your best foot forward. You know, I do this with work. When I put my name on something at work, I give 110%. I do not want my name on anything that's not gonna be good. And I know without a doubt, everything I do at work, I give 100%, 110%, always. So I know if anyone ever comes back to me, I know without a doubt, that I've done my best and I can't, I can't uh, be hard on myself for that because I did my best. And if you really truly do that, if you are authentic, don't be fake, don't try to give people the answers they want or act in a certain way, be yourself, be true to yourself and do your best. Then you cannot, none of this matters. You, you know that you're putting forth your best and that's all you can do. That's all you can hope for. But if you want to be shoddy and give, you know, work half-ass, you know, then it can be up in the air. But if you will be authentic and do your best, you will feel better about what other people think because you just can't do any better, you know? If they don't like your best, what are you gonna do? Um, the next thing, remove yourself from relationships that cause you to wonder, including social media. I had to get rid of social media. I had to get rid of Facebook constantly wondering what other people thought. Oh, should I not have said that? Cause I'm very vocal. <laughs> All the bullshit on Facebook. I can't even handle it. I, sometimes I'm just like, really people, do you really think that? And for the most part I can stay quiet, but occasionally I'm like, blah, 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 blah. And you know, I don't want to hurt people's feelings and I don't want people to not like me. So it just caused a lot of, feelings I didn't like and the best thing for me to do was to get rid of it. Best thing I ever did, completely freeing. Um, but the same with relationships, you know, if you have relationships where you're constantly in doubt and you are always wondering, 
you need to get rid of those relationships. Now I understand these might be family relationships where you can't do like me and just never speak to anyone in your family again, but you don't have to be involved so much. You don't have to be around them. You can back off, you can love from afar, but take a look at your relationships. If you're constantly wondering and you can't get it in control with yourself with these things that we've talked about, then it might be a good time to look at if you need to let go of some of these relationships or at least back off for, for a while until you can get higher in your vibration and better in um, feeling good about who you are and not worrying about what those people think before you move back in to that relationship. Um, the next one, assume the best and move on. We tend to kind of go down the road of all these nasty, well, I did, I can speak for myself, right? Um, but I see your comments and I, we're all the same. I learned a long time ago, I, think, I don't know if it was in college or where it was, where the realization that if I have this question, other people have this question. You know, we're all very similar, a lot of us. We suffer with the same issues, we deal with the same shit. So assume the best and move on. We kind of, I, I tended to think the most negative, like all oh, these people are gonna think I'm that. Blah, blah, blah just stop you don't have to assume that they're gonna think that we talked about this earlier you're never gonna know what they think but you don't need to assume that they're gonna think the worst you can actually just assume they're gonna think the best of you just assume they're gonna think the best and move on and that will do wonders for your vibration that will do wonders for getting you into where you need to be um, with all this worrying, I, just assume that they think the best of you and move on. I think that's one of the biggest uh, ways. Next way to stop. Stop judging and overanalyzing other people. A lot of the reason why we worry what other people think is because we worry about other people. We think things about other people. Um, so it's a good idea to stop judging other people. You don't know people just like I said they don't know you you don't know their situation you don't know all their past experiences that have led them to act the way they do today everything is so conditional on how we were raised everybody's different you can't assume people are gonna act the way you do because the way you were raised it's just different we all have our different views for reasons so stop judging other people stop over analyzing what they're doing because that is usually why we think other people are doing it to us because we are doing it to them. Guilty, as charged, I won't even get into how judgmental I have been of other people. And I really had to cut back on that and stop worrying, you know, live and let live. People are doing what they're doing, it's not my place to judge, I don't even know. I don't know what happened to them that day to act that way or their whole lives, no point in doing it. So stop doing that, that'll help you a lot with worrying about what other people think. Um, Next one, don't be so critical of yourself. Your opinion defines you, not others. So this is kind of a tricky thing to understand, but it's so true. It doesn't matter what other people think of you. The only thing that matters is what you think of you. And so if you are constantly criticizing yourself, thinking you're not good enough, that's the only thing that's gonna affect what's going on in your world because you don't know what other people think. You really don't. And so what you think of yourself truly does define who you are. So take a look at that. He talked about reprogramming your, reprogramming your subconscious. If you are critical of yourself, if you have bad um, thoughts about yourself, it's probably ingrained in you from childhood for whatever reason, doesn't matter why, doesn't who, what, when, where, none of that matters. You just need to reprogram, figure out what it is you're being critical about and bombard yourself with truths, change that shit and move on. Okay, your opinion of yourself defines you because that's what you base everything on. It, Cause it's all, everything, everything is mental and it's within you. So all the thoughts that you're thinking, this is such a, a deep thing to, to get into and to understand, but it's so true because everything is mental and everything that you have going on in your world is just a reflection of the things that you think about yourself. You determine how you react to everything based on what you think about yourself. Kind of hard to grasp, maybe not, maybe you totally understand that, 
but it's true. So really got to stop being critical of yourself and praise yourself. You know, it might sound silly in the beginning, but quit waiting for somebody else to tell you you did a good job. Tell, you, tell yourself. Nobody, nobody's going to tell you when you want them to tell you. Every time you want them to tell you. Stop letting your joy be conditional on what other people think and when they praise you. Praise yourself. Praise yourself. And it sounds silly in the beginning if you've never done it, but once you do it, really, really helpful. Really good. Um, two more. Um, play the worst scenario out. So this has been really helpful for me. I, to, to, to get rid of uh, anxiety in general or caring what other people think. I will play, in a lot of situations I do this. I just go, okay, I'm worried about this thing. It's on my mind, it's driving me nuts. What's the worst thing that could happen? And I just play the worst scenario out. Okay, this is the worst possible thing that could happen. What am I gonna do now? What are my steps gonna be? And it really closes off that wonder. Because you get, you know, if you're worried about, let's say something like worried about losing your job, worrying about, you know, if it's freaking you out and it's causing you all sorts of anxiety, and you finally go, okay, what's gonna happen if I lose my job? The worst possible thing. End up homeless. End up unable to pay my bills. Have to move in with my parents. Whatever it, is, just figure out the worst possible outcome of this thing that you're worried about. And then it kind of takes away the pain. Like, okay, that's the worst thing that's gonna happen. This is what I'll do if that happens. And then it kind of it kind of fades away. I don't know how to explain it unless you do it, but it kind of takes the, the oomph away. It takes that, that fear and that worry and it just kind of, I don't know, try it. Play the worst scenario out figure out what you'll do and uh, it helps, it helps me. Maybe it'll help you. And the last one, the last one is care what you think about you. Very important. Care what you think about you. Doesn't matter what other people think. It really doesn't. What you think matters really, really important. I'm going to grab something. One second. Okay. I grabbed it. So if this video helped you, if you like what I'm saying, if you feel better in the watching of it and you'd like to go deeper, I have a workbook. I have a lot of books and workbooks and things like that. This would be very helpful though. If you enjoyed this, this is a six week shift book, general well-being six weeks of activities and things you can do to shift your vibration, shift your energy, shift your thinking, shift everything from where it is to a better place. And uh, it's like a recipe though, if you're not gonna do it, if you're gonna leave some parts out, not give it your all, it's not gonna work. If you don't put baking soda in the recipe, it's gonna flop. So if you're interested, if you like what I have to say, it would help you immensely. It's helped a lot of people. If not, no pressure. I don't want you buying something you aren't going to do. So I hope this helped. Um, it was really interesting to start doing this again, to come across this. Um, and sometimes I think I relive things just to have ideas to share with you guys. And I feel like that's what this was. I just caught myself a couple times really engulfed in the middle of really giving a shit what other people think. And it's really just not me anymore. I used to be completely submersed in what other people thought of me. And it, it really, it really ran my life. I have to be honest with you. It really, really ran my life. Um, I was in constant anxiety of caring what other people thought. And it was funny to find myself like, what are you doing? What are you, how are you, you're, why are you doing that? Why are you back into that? But anyway, I'm glad that it happened because I got to make this lovely video and I hope you guys are all well. And if anybody hasn't told you today, I love you. I love you very, very much. And I will talk to you soon.